Okay, so you join me on a sunny winter's morning and I have a little problem with my robot mower. Not a problem from my own making. You can see the scaffolding in the background there, but basically what's happened, I think, is when they're throwing slate down and materials and tools, it's cut through the boundary wire. So now the robot mower doesn't work. Obviously, I've put it away for winter anyway, but I noticed and I can't really show you too clearly on this video probably i might do an overlay but there's a little blue light flashing on the base unit of the mower basically saying that there is a, a cable connection problem and it's been three years since i laid the boundary cable so even though i didn't put it in deeply obviously the, the ground has eaten up over time so in this video hopefully i'm going to show you how you can kind of easily find your broken boundary cable if you have a similar problem with a little am radio Okay, so if you've had your mobile phone on near the radio and stuff, you probably know what I'm going to be trying to do with this, but I'll just briefly explain and hopefully it's going to work and then you can do the same kind of thing. So AM radio, so I just bought this off Amazon, I think it's about £7, I'll put a link in the description in case you want to get the same one. And let me show you basically how we're going to try and find this broken cable. So I know, well I say I know, I'm pretty confident the breakage isn't down the end of the garden it's up by the house here because that's where the slates and everything has come down and we're going to try and use this radio to try and detect where the cable is and then hopefully try and dig it up with a weed tool find the break repair it and then hopefully we'll have the green light back on again and uh, the mower will be working again when uh, when the weather gets good okay so to start off by making this simple hopefully you understand how the boundary wire works basically the the base station here is powered electricity is going out through these boundary cables following around goes out the one side comes back in the other side obviously the electricity is, is most powerful here at the base station and it will slowly dissipate around the boundary of the cable and basically it's completing a loop and that's you know like a, a typical circuit that's how we know that electricity is flowing out of one end and back in the other one so if we turn this radio on you can hear the noise and if i move it near the cable you'll hear a change in tone so if you move away it becomes quite staticky you get electrical interference as we go closer so it's very strong here because that's the source of electricity. We can move around the garden so I know the boundary wire is a few centimetres away and we're here. That change again. Move away. More statically. If you come closer, you get that interference again. And again, if you come into another part of the garden, again, quite statically. I know this boundary cable is around here somewhere. Again, you start to hear it. So it's around further away. The boundary cable is around here somewhere. So in theory, as you move to the top of the garden, let's turn that off for a moment. It's going to be around here at the top that we should no longer hear that interference noise. Now, as we move further away from the base station, so you can see the base station is all the way back over there the electricity is obviously weaker so that interference is going to be weaker up here so we have to do a lot more attention to the sound but i know the boundary cable runs along here somewhere so we should hear it faintly yep so you can hear that faint interference so if you follow it around you can see the cable runs up here you still hear that buzzing it's going to be around here somewhere that we lose the sound so i think it's dissipated 
no longer getting any interference around here. Back here, you can hear that again. So somewhere around here is where, where the cable has been disrupted. So we just need to kind of fine tune that, try and find exactly where we want to try and dig and find this broken cable. Yeah. You think it's stuck there, yeah? Yeah. It's about in line with that slab, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we think it's going to be around here somewhere that we need to dig up and find the cable, kind of in line with this slab. So it's probably going to be 30 centimeters or so from the slab, and then uh, get some gloves on because it's going to get dirty. Look how. Yucky and muddy, the gardens has had a proper trashing from all the, the slates and stuff. But hopefully we find it and um, then just need to try and find out where it's, you know, needs to be reconnected to. Okay, so you can see here we've dug up, we've found where the cable is. So now we just need to gently pull it up along both ways to try and find the break. Okay, so we've done some digging, so you can see we're ruining the, the grass here. What we've found, we were close, but not quite close enough. So if you remember, the sound kind of seemed to dissipate around this area. But as you can see, we've pulled the cable up and gone back a little bit. It was all intact there, but I guess the signal was getting so weak. But we followed it round along here and here is where the break is. This cable is running around here underneath the scaffolding thing. So something's come down and cut through it in this area. So we're gonna check the grass to make sure that there's no bit of slate or something still stuck in there. And I think what happened is, uh, and not as important here, but we had a load of slate fall off the roof, come through the scaffolding, it all landed all over here. So I think it's probably jumped through and cut that quite cleanly. So we're just gonna have a little look through the grass, make sure there's no slate or anything. Then we're gonna re-peg this back in. It's winter now anyway, so we just need to make it neat. Uh, not gonna try and bury it too much because we don't wanna cause loads of problems. I'll show you the clips that you can use. You should have some in your flyway box. We'll rebury this cable. Hopefully that will then have the blue light go off and we have a green light again and then we have a working robot again, assuming there's not another break somewhere else, we'll see. Okay, so this is what we use to fix it. You can have three connectors going in all at once. You should have some of these spare in your Flymo kit anyway. I'll also put a link to Amazon where you can buy about 20 of these for eight pounds. Uh, basically all we're gonna do is you put one end of the cable in the one hole like this, the other end of the cable in the other end clamp it down with some pliers it's all got some uh, grease and stuff inside so it's all waterproof and watertight so we're going to do that now and then we should have a green light again Okay, so I hope that video helped. Get your Flymo or whatever other robot mower you have that has a boundary wire up and running again, just with a simple use of an AM radio. Not super easy, you gotta really listen, uh, but it's a, di a better, I think, easier way than using some of the kind of voltage detection cable solutions. But let me know how you get on below. If this video has helped, please leave a thumbs up and uh, happy mowing. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks, 
Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.